welcome back to a fun family. <laughs> the man family. So today I'm actually going to be working in the homeschool room. I do homeschool my children, Layla who is seven, Aurora who is three, and our homeschool room is really bad right now. I'm not going to lie, it is terrible. It was semi-organized a little bit, but then came the holidays and the girls just got so many toys. And Layla's been on winter break as well, so I haven't been homeschooling for the past like two weeks. So the homeschool room kind of blew up. It's crazy. I'm gonna just take you guys in there so you guys can see it for yourself. So this is our homeschool room. It is so bad right now. Like this is the worst it has ever been. So this shelf right here is where I keep like all of the homeschool stuff and it just needs to be organized. Like it is so crazy. Like I have some things down here that I haven't used. This is like a bunch of like paperwork and artwork that Layla's done and it just needs to be organized because it is just so crazy. This is pretty much all of Layla's like workbooks that she does right now for her curriculum and that just needs to be organized as well. We have some like games and puzzles over here, some more games and puzzles, more puzzles. This is like her math blocks. Our construction paper right here needs to be organized. It's just kind of thrown on the shelf. These are all coloring books, and I need to go through those and make sure they're still like usable and they're not filled up and everything. Mm -hmm. These two bins down here are like art supplies and like extra things, but as you can see, it's like so not organized. It's kind of just thrown. Same thing with this one. It's just thrown in there. And then these bins down here kind of just have like random things some extra like papers and things so i just have to go through those two and then this right here is layla's desk and it's so messy like it's so bad so we have like her pencil box we have some crayons some like play-doh things a ton of play-doh in these boxes she has some beads and then this is her desk drawer which i need to go through because she's kind of just been like shoving papers in here and everything so i need to go through that this is the homeschool room closet but i took down the closet doors because it was like on a little wheel track on the bottom and the closet was just driving me nuts because it kept constantly coming off the track so the closet is just open up here we have board games but i need to go through those and organize them and then there's just like random things that are shoved up here too i think those are like halloween lights so i just have to go through all of this stuff and organize it we also have some love every play kits right here my girls do play with these constantly but the playroom is really full with toys that's my next project that i'm going to work on is the playroom because i want to do like a toy rotation so my goal is to completely clear out this homeschool closet that way i can store extra toys right here so definitely stay tuned if you want to see like a playroom declutter slash, slash organize as well because that's going to be my next video I have like literally a trash bag right here. This bag is donation, so I just have to clear out all of this as well. This is like extra toys that I have to go through. And then they just have like a bunch of like puzzles and board games right here that they got from Christmas. Layla got that bead set for Christmas. These two need to be stored inside of the garage because these are actually Halloween decorations. And then this right here is my desk. We have some books right here that the girls got for Christmas. A random whiteboard. Some color wonders. My notepad. This is all of my organizing bins that I bought. So this box right here is actually for the playroom. So like I said, I'm going to film that in a separate video. And then this is all of my new homeschool stuff that I'm going to use. So I just have a bunch of different bins. So I have these ones which pull out. I have these little clear bins, I have some extra like crayons, some pencils, I have a little like pencil caddy, I have these where I plan on putting like play-doh and stuff inside of it, I have some more bins right here, some bigger bins, and then I have these little caddies, some new scissors, um, I have some posters over here that I want to hang up, and then I also have some like paper organizers okay so i think i'm gonna go ahead and just get started because it is a lot 
Jade is currently napping. If you're new here, I do have a newborn baby. So she is napping. So I'm going to try to knock this out as quickly as possible. First step is going to be to take out all of this stuff off of the shelf. That way I can see like what I have, organize it, and then like place it inside of the bins. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in, meet me here tonight. Be brave and come along. I'll be your right. Promise we don't need no brake lights. We can travel the world, so just say yes. Choose to do whatever comes next. Okay, so I got all of the shelves cleared off and here's everything that came off of them. It's a lot. So I need to go through these two bins because like I said, there's extra things in there and there's like arts and crafts stuff. This pile over here is coloring books and stickers. And then pretty much all of this right here is Layla's school curriculum for this year. So that is all going to stay. I just need to organize it. We have some puzzles over here. And then this pile right here, I need to go through it and organize it better because this is like a lot of important paperwork for like me and Benny. So I need to go through it, shred all of the old stuff and just like have a better filing system because this is too chaotic. Like I want to have it organized and in one spot that way in case like of an emergency and we have to like evacuate the house really fast or something. I just have it all like all of the main like important paperwork in one section and I can just take the whole thing and go. Step number two is going to be organizing. So I'm going to go ahead and open all of these bins, start placing them on the shelf. That way I can figure out like which bins I want where. And then I'm going to start organizing all of this and placing it inside of the bins. <laughs> Never understood a word they said Kept running in the woods alone instead Somewhere, somehow I guess I lost it all Try to keep it up and stand in the tall Why don't you stay, stay cause I could really
working in the homeschool room I would say I'm about like halfway done so I wanted to show you guys like the progress that I've made in here so this cube organizer right here is the main thing that I wanted to get done there's still some things that I have to do like this top part right here I have to organize today and then yeah this is pretty much what it's looking like now I organized all of this stuff over here and then the homeschool closet right here is what I still have to work on and then like all of these toys right here so hopefully I can knock out this today so that's my goal today is to just get this closet done get this done and hopefully this little pumpkin over here lets me finish it hi baby what are you doing are you playing so hopefully she lets me finish up today Silent now, we don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said, yeah, it kinda broke my heart. Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think. I'm trying my best to hold on, but I feel myself giving. You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this, we hurt each other's feelings on and on. Who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry I guess that we should say we're sorry Say we're sorry Say we're sorry And start again Don't give up, we're holding on For what it's worth I'll try to change We can't fix our broken hearts Loving me is not so goddamn easy as I think You try your best to hold up But I see you're giving in You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on Who you are The things you say is always One step too far But I know that I've Played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess that we should say we're sorry Like this, we hurt each other's feelings on and on. I don't wanna change who you are. Who you are. The things you say is always a step too far. But I know that I've played my part. I'm hurting you as well. I guess that we should say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. Say we're sorry. I guess that we should say I am finally done you guys and before i show you the reveal i just want to remind you guys of what it looked like before so here is the before and now you want to show them what it looks like huh should we show them so here is the homeschool room now. I'm seriously so happy with how it turned out.
and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It took me a few days to tackle it, but I'm just so excited. I'm ready to start homeschool again. I am gonna show you guys now everything in detail of what I did, kind of go through like each bin. The reason why I wanted to do bins is because I do have Jade and she's very needy sometimes because I am exclusively breastfeeding her. So sometimes homeschool doesn't always take place in this room. I try my hardest to do it in this room since I've made like this beautiful room, but realistically it doesn't always happen in here. Sometimes it happens on the couch, sometimes it happens on the dining table. So the reason why I wanted bins was in case I am homeschooling like in a different room, I can just send Layla in here and instead of her carrying like a bunch of like things in her hands like she was because everything was kind of scattered as you guys saw, now she can just grab a bin and she can put it on this little like rolling cart which is why I left that like slot right there empty. That way whenever I have to like send her in here to grab something, she can just easily grab a bin, hop it on that rolling cart, and then she can like take it into a different room. So that was kind of like my game plan of putting like everything inside of bins. That way it's just easy and I can just see everything. It's all organized. I might put labels on everything because I don't really have like labels on any of these bins. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I might. That way... It's like even easier for Layla to grab some stuff so she can know like what's in all of these bins. Another thing I might change up to eventually is these little bins right here. As you can see, some of them still have space. They're just not filled up completely. So instead of like using these bins, I might eventually change them out for these ones. That way I have even more storage because as you can see, these size bins that I got there's just so much like gap right here but it's not big enough to fit another bin so I just have like this empty space and all of the cubes so I might eventually switch out these bins for something like this instead because as you can see this one there's like barely any space right here so it just fits better and then I can probably stack like four of these right here that way I can just like utilize the space that I have and I can just really like Get a ton of storage out of it i'm gonna just show you guys like everything kind of go through it all so up here i have this little organizer my plan for this was to fit it inside of the cube for some reason it did not fit i don't know why i did the measurements i like triple check before i bought this little organizer to make sure that it fits in one of the cubes but it does not like the sides right here are a little bit off like if this wasn't here it would totally fit but it just does not so I'm kind of disappointed about that but it's not a big deal I just ended up putting it up here so all of these are like construction papers and then right here I have our printing paper I need to get like a little organizer for that but for now I just put it up here I have these little markers and then I have our Love Every block set. I like to keep this in here because whenever I am doing homeschool with Layla, Aurora likes to join us in here. And she's a little young to be doing some schoolwork. I try to do some with her, but she gets distracted easily and she just likes to play. So I always like to put some toys in here. That way, whenever we are homeschooling, she can just sit on the rug right here and play. These two baskets right here are full of chalk whenever we go outside and play. So now let's go through this whole cube organizer. So this first one right here is all of our painting supplies. So there's brushes in here, there's acrylic paint, there's water paint, there's the little like trays for the paint. So it's just all painting supplies. This next one down here is like random arts and crafts stuff. So there's pipe cleaners in here, there's little pom poms, there's googly eyes, there's some glitter in here. It's just a bunch of like craft things. This one right here, I need Benny to go through because a lot of this is his paperwork. So I didn't want to like throw anything away that he wants to keep. So it's just like important papers that I have right here. This next one is like envelopes, ink, um, stamps, tape. And then this one down here is kind of like a random bin that I didn't really know where to put things so there's so there's like some flashcards in here there's a map in here there's some of our like letter tiles in here 
There's just a bunch of like random things in here. On this shelf, I have these little clear bins. I wanna buy some more that way. They're all like stacked up all the way to the top, so I have to order some more. But this first one is stickers. So I just have like a bunch of stickers in here. I like to keep stickers that way if the girls like do a really good job, I can put stickers on their work or like give Rory a sticker if she's like participating with us. So I like to have stickers on hand. This next one is like the extra cards for our calendar that we have on the wall over here. I wanna get something like a little pocket or something to put on the wall that way I can like have the cards right there next to the calendar. But for now, I just have it in here. This one right here is just like a bunch of supplies. So I have a stapler remover, some of the like poster sticky putty. I have some staples, some um, flashcards, some paper clips, and then I have a lock. So just a bunch of like random office supplies. This one right here is just some extra lead, some extra erasers for lead pencils, some loose erasers, and then like the bigger eraser. This bin right here, I have our stapler up here. I have some tape, and then I have our little stamp that has our last name on it. And then I have some of the Color Wonder markers. I always like to have a bunch of these because they are amazing. I also have the books that go with these markers too because these markers are special and they only go on like specific paper. So I love to have these for Aurora. This one is like all of my pens. This one is a dry and erase markers and then a little like eraser. This one is some highlighters. As you can see, a lot of this stuff is like kind of empty and I just have room to grow. That is a tip that I have for you guys. If you are creating like a homeschool space and you're doing like a storage situation, make sure you leave like some space. It's always good to have extra space in case you like grow your stash and all of that stuff. So this next one down here is a whole bunch of folders. So I believe there's six folders in each and I have four of these clear organizers. I don't have anything in these folders right now, but I figured they would be good. That way I can start organizing Layla's like stuff that she gets done, any like art projects. I don't know if you guys saw, but when I was organizing Layla's desk, there was just a whole bunch of random papers. So instead of her <laughs> shoving them in the drawers, I now have all of these folders and I can just easily organize like any paperwork that I have. This whole cube right here is all of Layla's curriculum for the school year so like her spelling um geography her math her reading her history just literally everything for the school year is right here i used to have it up here and she could reach up there but i decided to just move it down that way it's more like eye level with her since she is the one that comes in here and grabs her workbooks this next one right here i believe this is reading in here yes so this is like a little puzzle in here and then this blue bin right here is all of the math blocks whenever Layla is doing math she likes to use these to count them and just to help her on this shelf right here we have some of these little they're called plus plus and you can build things out of them so I just have all of them thrown in here Here's something that Layla built. There was green on top of this because she made it like a little pumpkin for Halloween. So you can just build a whole bunch of things in here. Here's the little like building book that comes with it. So I just threw it inside of this bin. And then this one right here are the little magnet tiles. My kids love these and they just got them for Christmas. I have some more reading stuff. I've been really working on reading with Layla. She was struggling for a little bit, but she's doing so much better. So I just have so much reading material. So this is like a little reading curriculum. This one right here is all of Layla's like beads, her strings, her little like scissors. There's like clasp in here. So it's just all like bead kit stuff. I want to get another bin for this one just because... This bin is so big for all of the beads. This bin down here is a lot of like different puzzles. So they're all separated in Ziploc baggies. This bin right here is all of the coloring books. So I have some of the color wonders in here. I have this giant coloring book. And then there's just a whole 
bunch of coloring books in here. This is where all of the Play-Doh stuff is. So this little one right here, this is all of like the little like cookie cutters. We have rollers in here. Just all of like the little accessories for Play-Doh. Oh. I organize all of the Play-Doh and it is so satisfying. So these baggies right here, they are kinetic sand. So I have to get some more containers for these ones. That way they're not just thrown in Ziploc baggies. But for now, I just have them like that. So I have to order some more bins for those. And then this is like a little Play-Doh project. So you have to like copy what the picture tells you. So I threw that in there. And then these are the boards that go with it. So here is all of the Play-Doh. This was so satisfying to do. I decided to put them in these containers versus keeping them in the other containers because my kids can never close them right for some reason and the play-doh always dries out we waste money because we they love playing with play-doh so i keep buying it and then they can't close the containers right it dries out so i figured i would give these containers a try and then i like how they're clear too that way they can easily like see what color it is and then these smaller containers right here these are clay so we have a lot of clay in here too. Moving on to these bins down here. This first one is books. Jade and Aurora just got these book sets for Christmas. So Jade got this one. They're just little board books. Aurora got the Paw Patrol one. And then there's just like a bunch of books in here. These ones are really good for like children who are just starting to read. So I have a lot of them in here. This next bin is like games so these are like a lot of games that came with Layla's curriculum so I just have them all in here this bin is puzzles this bin is like all of the extra like notebooks binders folders um, extra like curriculum things extra books I just put them all down here in this bin so this is kind of like the extra bin so now moving on to Layla's desk I just organized like this whole top part so she has her pencil box she has her glasses she doesn't really wear glasses but I bought her these for whenever she's like on the computer or her tablet because these are not prescription they're just like blue light lens so she has those she has some math flashcards she has all of her words. These are like all of her sight words and stuff like that. She uses these almost daily whenever we do math. So I left those on her desk. She has some like little decoration things that she made. How cute is this little cat that she made? She has her piggy bank up here. And then I added this rainbow little caddy for her. So she has a sharpener on this side, a whole bunch of scissors, some painting brushes, she has a glue stick and then some tape. So this is like stuff that she would need like almost daily. So that's why I left that there. And then here's what her drawer looks like now. So much better than when I first showed you guys. So she has a little notepad, a folder. She has these little like papers. She has a dry and erase board. And then just like her little things that she likes to keep in her desk are right here and then some rulers. Above her desk, I hung two posters. I hung this numbers one through 100 poster. This one is the alphabet. And then the only thing that I really did to my desk was I added the lamp in here. And then I pretty much just organized my drawer. I just like cleared it out. This is pretty much just all of like my filming equipment is in here. Over here, I hung some more posters. So there's a time one, another numbers one, a colors one, it has primary, secondary colors. This one is 2D shapes and 3D shapes. This one is emotions. I think this one might be my favorite. I think it's so cute. And then there's a my body one that points to like all of your body parts. We have our calendar and weather pocket chart so I always have the girls do this whenever we do homeschool this is like the first thing we do I have them you know change like the date I have them do like the days of the week 
the season, the weather. I left those blank though. That way, whenever we start back school again, they can easily like do that and they don't have to like switch anything out. I decided to hang these three posters since they go with the calendar and weather theme that we have going on right here. So this first one is days of the week. Then there's a months of the year poster. And then there's a seasons poster. I have my whiteboard right here, which I use all of the time, especially whenever we are doing like our reading. I write all of the words on the board. So this board comes in handy. And then here is the closet now. This was a complete disaster. I pulled so much stuff out of this closet. This will probably change because as I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I do wanna do like a toy rotation. My kids just got so many toys for Christmas and the playroom is now overflowing. So I would love to start a toy rotation. I think I wanna keep the extra toys in this closet. So if you guys have any like recommendations on like doing a toy rotation and how I should store them, all of that stuff, please send me your like tips or ideas down below because I do wanna use this space right here for that. I have a bunch of extra bins, that way I can start the toy rotation. That's probably going to be like my next big project is the playroom. But for now, I just have some extra toys in here. And then I have this little cart. It's pretty empty because like I said, whenever I am homeschooling like in the living room or whatever, Layla can just throw all of her stuff on this cart and then roll it. I have all of like the pencils, scissors, markers, and crayons. And then up here, we have all of our board games. All right, well that is our new homeschool room. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I just wanna say really quickly that if you are a new mom, you're just finding my channel, and you're new to homeschool, you do not need to go out and buy all of these extra things. You don't need a room like this. To be honest, you can just homeschool in your bedroom. You can homeschool at the dining table, on the couch. You really don't need all of this extra stuff. So I just wanted to point that out really quickly because I know homeschooling can be very overwhelming, especially if you're new to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching me organize everything and I hope you guys like how it turned out. I am like in love with it and I cannot wait to show my kids. Make sure you guys are subscribed if you want to see the toy rotation because the playroom is probably going to be my next project that I'm going to tackle. I do also plan on starting a new series here on my channel that's going to consist of organizing, cleaning, decluttering, any home projects that I have, which I do have a lot of home projects that I wanna tackle in this new year. So definitely stay tuned for that. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the Moran family and make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Did you ever stop and think why spend too much time just getting ready?